A lot of stores run promotions where they talk about Christmas in July. I want to talk about Hanukkah in August. Hanukkah is super popular for all the obvious reasons. The timing, the presence, the story of few triumphing over many, and all that had to do is believe. And when you believe and struggle, you can accomplish things that seem totally impossible. It's a great story. People are also indifferent to Tisha B'Av, the commemoration coming up this coming Saturday night. Tisha B'Av is something that people don't love, and for obvious reasons. The timing, middle of summer. The fasting, instead of getting stuff, you give up stuff. Um, and it's not easy in the story. The story is, is that a small group of people who felt themselves deeply oppressed by a mighty empire um, rose up in rebellion and they deeply believed and they got crushed and they lost their sovereignty and they lost the center of their faith and it didn't work out. Knowing both these stories is so, so, so important. History is not a triumphant march of the good. If you only know the Hanukkah story, essentially the Disney movie version of history, um, you're going to get confused when you recognize that, he, that, that history is, in fact, a struggle with setbacks. Not every struggle for a good cause is advisable, and Tisha B'Av helps teach us this. It's not always okay in the end. Things don't always work out, and sometimes it's better to try and accommodate an imperfect reality than to try and force a perfect present. If we only focus on the Hanukkah story, the Disney movie version of things, we're going to truly miss out. The ninth of Av, Tisha B'Av is never going to be popular, but it is worth doing. It's worth knowing the story and it's worth commemorating because if Hanukkah helps us understand the world as it could be, ninth of Av helps us manage the world as it is. And that's a valuable lesson in any generation, but especially this one. You can join us for Tisha B'Av. It starts on Saturday night. Shabbat Shalom.